Hello everyone, my name is Lork, this is the Drake's Horde, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Died Twice. Um, in between episodes, I did do a little bit of training. Uh, I didn't grind or anything, I was just practicing with our friend over here. Um, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting a little bit better. Uh, it's still very different from Dark Souls or something like... Bloodborne because normally you have like one or two ways of not getting hit by an attack or blocking the attack or deflecting the attack. In this game you have like so many combinations of how to mitigate damage, uh, mostly uh, deflecting the attack or blocking it. Um, but you also have jumps, you have dodges, you have specific kinds of things that you can do, like sweep attacks, you have to jump towards your opponent and then jump on their face. Uh, stabs can either be, or thrusts, can either be uh, deflected, not blocked, but deflected. And uh, you can also dash towards your opponent and you'll step on their weapon if they're thrusting at you. Grabs, uh, you can either jump away, or you can dash away, or dash around, or whatever. It's like a really big game of uh, rock, paper, scissors uh, that you can die if you lose. Um, I did find a cache of coin, uh, or sen, whatever they call it in this game. Um, so I got uh, some bags of money. It was under the chick that gave us the bell, the old woman that gave us the bell. Um, so I got some extra cash on me. And I also figured out how you can get those carps that are swimming under the water. And it's a little bit difficult because I still had to do, take a few tries. But basically, you sit there and watch them until they come to the surface, and when they come to the surface, they're only uh, around the surface for like three seconds or something like that. And you don't want to get them immediately when they come to the surface because uh, they're still like in the middle of their animation or whatever. So if you hit them, they'll run away and you might deal less damage. So what you want to do is wait like a second or two when they come to the surface, jump at them, and then hit them uh, once or twice and you can get their scales. And, because of that, I now have a uh, floating passage, which was the art that I bought from that little pot merchant. Um, uh, or the mer the merchant that's in the pot, not pot merchant. <laughs> anyway, and uh, I've been looking at how to use these and it's really interesting. Um, I currently have Floating Passage equipped, so what you do is you hold that down, uh, you hold Guard down, and you tap R1, and then you go into the motions. With Floating Passage, uh, you can actually get into combos, and you can continue the combo until it ends after, I think, like three taps. So this is like one, this is like two, Oop. this is like two. And this is like three. And I notice this doesn't break, uh, th this doesn't, uh, get, uh, get your posture damage really high or anything, but it does do a lot of, uh, HP damage if you get, like, all the hits. Come back whenever if you have Um... I also like how you can pause in this game so you can actually like swap things out, but you actually have to swap out your arts because I believe all of them are activated the same way, so... Oops. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter if I hit him because he can't die, but... This is the Whirlwind. Um... Instead of like a barrage of attacks like all in front of you, it does two sweeps. And that doesn't combo, but it does two sweeps and it goes in a 360 direction. Um, 
I also noticed that I commented on the fact that I could get uh, more skills and whatnot, but I didn't look at the separate skill tree for the prosthetic arts. Um, yeah. And I, I just thought that I would show you, like, what it would give you if you grab it. Um, so, Chasing Slice is, uh, one of them. Apparently, uh, a bunch of people recommend that you get this, like, immediately if you can, simply because it allows you to, uh, mid, uh, mid or, uh, even, like, mid-long range distance interrupt someone's attack with a shuriken, and then dash at them right after the shuriken, uh, lands, basically. Um, the, the grappling hook attack is, <laughs> is also really nice, uh, I think, because, uh, as far as I know, it allows you to, uh, <laughs> gra grab someone real quick if they're, uh, if you can use the grapple hook on them. Um, I don't think you can use the grapple hook on every enemy, um, I'm not sure because I haven't tried it out a lot, but then you get to make an attack immediately after that. Um, you know what, I could... I could test it on him. I don't, I don't have the skill yet, but I'm just curious if I could grapple. It's you. You may... Now, yeah. Also, yeah, he's no pushover once you start getting to the upper parts of it. Nope. I can't... I can't actually grapple. Nope. Yeah. For that, you have to, like, dodge out of the way and stuff like that. I'm still yeah. learning. It's it's kind of hard because my hands want to do other things, and I, I think it has something to do with, like... Uh, Bloodborne being like the most recent Souls game. No, Dark Souls 3, but I think I think I started playing more Bloodborne after Dark Souls 3. Yeah, and if an enemy keeps blocking like that, you can just keep hammering away on them. Don't don't Excellent. click 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 the attack button. Uh, make sure that you're almost at the end of your attack in order to click it again because the system logs like two or three attacks after the first uh, if you just keep clicking away so come back whenever you like if you have tech you just you just have to be careful um, I'm not doing very well I'll say that much uh, I'm still having problems but I'm sure the more I play this game, the more likely I'm going to be able to push through and be, be able to do these things. Um, there was one thing that I noticed that I really want to get to, um, that I didn't, I didn't want to do it without recording it, so I think I'll, think I'll do that right now. Um, I want to get there, and then I want to continue in the the past or whatever over the estate um but uh i just i want i want to check it out real quick because i see someone up there but i don't know who they are or whatever um i haven't tried to get over there yet because like i said i want i wanted to record it i want to show who Whoever is actually watching my videos, I really actually want to leave nothing uh, out except maybe little things like grinding or me uh, trying to figure out how to get a certain item or something like that. You know how I got it. You just you need to get all the carp scales over at that lake by the state. So my plan is is getting up on that plateau over there. Um, I just don't know how to do that. So... I'm pretty...
pretty sure if I go around the whole plateau, you should be able to find a way to get up there. Um, yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know how to do that, so maybe, um, I have to go the other direction, don't I? Yeah, because I don't, I don't think there's a grapple point over there. Yeah, and it's like so tantalizingly close too, but I know people are like patrolling this area over here. Yeah, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm sorry, one, one of the dogs that I'm babysitting is like right next to me. She's a, she's such a sweetheart. She's a little, little tiny dog. Okay, I don't, I don't think they're anywhere near now, but... I love how smooth you can get from one place to another with that grappling hook. Um, I think I'm going to go down here. That's kind of... I saw the grappling point, like, up top. Ah, uh, son of a... okay. Well, maybe... maybe I can just run for it. I'm sure they're after me, like, right this second. Oh! So yeah, I knew... I knew there was a way to get up here, it's just on the other side of the whole... Thing. Uh, no, I don't want to go over there. Oh, come on. You have to, like, be positioned just correct in order to get those grapple points sometimes. So what is this? Is this a person? Yeah, it's a person. Care to purchase an offering? An offering? Indeed. I sell items to be offered to the dead so they might rest in peace. From the looks of you, I'd wager you know a thing or two about death. Go ahead, buy an offering. Oh, so he's a merchant. That is so nice. Okay. Um. Orbit's firecrackers from across southern seas can be fitted to the Shomi prosthetic, become a prosthetic tool. That I'm going to buy. And I haven't been, like, looking at the story or whatever, but I was told that whenever you see these, you should buy them because it's better to all... It, and really, it's always better to have them banked. Um, and I think it's... A, I think you're only buying them slightly over what they actually give you. I think they give you, like, a hundred sen each or something. Yeah. And you and you don't lose them, so you don't lose all your don't money. Use but that thing around here, you'll scare the crows. They're very intelligent, leaps and bounds, smarter than other animals. Cruelty won't be tolerated. I'm guessing he's telling me that if I decide to scare the crows or try to murder the crows, he will be really pissed off at me, and he won't sell stuff to me anymore. Um. Oh. Also, I've noticed that this literally doesn't do anything terrible when you use it, so I should be able to just use this and I'll uh, go back to the temple and I won't do anything bad. Or at least, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> okay. 
So you need. Let's uh, fit the new prosthetic tool. Yeah, I don't understand why it like lets you choose which one you're fitting. Do you get like different versions of them later on or something? And you can only have like one version of each thing on you at a time. Another time then. I'll lend you shelter any time. Okay. So I now have the Shinobi firecracker. Man, I do want to test some of these out, but I don't want to, like, waste... I guess I have, like, 44 of them. Um, so, you know what? I, I think I'm fine testing them out, like, once or twice. So... We already know about the shuriken. They consume one of those. I haven't used the axe before. Okay, so it's like a it's like a heavy weapon. It uses two. And this I think is a flamethrower and it uses three. Okay. The Shinobi Firecracker. Okay, and it like it like hits hits the area around it. All right. I I, I really do like the animations for like equipping them. Uh, okay. So I want to move forward. With the Harada estate. At the very least, I want to make some progress in some direction. Like, seriously, I feel like I haven't moved very far in these past few episodes. I think the next thing I'm going to try and do is, like, upgrade my ability to stealth. Ah, I forgot. This literally leads to nowhere, and I can't... I can't, like, go around... Darn it! Yep. Sorry, Lor Lorik and his stupidity. Um... They can see me all the way over there, can't they? You know what, there's something that I've been thinking about, and... How many of those shards do you have on your person? You can have ten of those. I have four in storage. So if I decided to use it... He didn't even care! Screw this. <laughs> 
Come follow me. Do you also shoot? No, he doesn't. It's the other guy. So much fun getting blasted in the face with a fire arrow. Um, okay, so I was in there before. Just gotta remember where I was for a lot of this. I continually say sorry for the dogs if you can hear me. it heals for. Okay, it's it's a good enough amount, I think. Hmm. got shields, so I heard this axe can bust through them. seen one of those guys before. He has a big nasty spear.
I hide in the bush? Yes, I can. I'm curious if there's something in the tower. But you know what? I'll uh, look at that in a minute. Where is he? Who saw? Oh, that guy saw. Uh, he has two... <laughs> he has two bars. I'm, uh... Not interested, big guy. Not yet. he notices almost immediately. Hey, stop barking! I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fight spear dude once I have a one-on-one -on -one session with him. first hit on him from the bush. Come on. Countering thrust attacks. Thrust attacks cannot be blocked, but they can be deflected. They love to mind you about that kind of thing, don't they? right on you, doesn't he?
Another cutscene that I died too many times. So you're awake. <laughs> Your death is not your fate. Just yet. <coughs> Rot Essence Sculptor. Somewhere a pained cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Owning this item reduces one's chance of receiving unseen aid. Raw Essence, Timid Maid. Uh, somewhere a pained cough rings out continuously. The coughing and wheezing sounds of an old woman deeply worried about her beloved master. Owing this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid. So, the woman and the sculptor. The, the, um, the woman who gave me the bill. Bell, I think. Uh, the more one with the power of dragon heritage dies, the more a sickness known as dragon rot spreads throughout the world. If one known to a wolf is coughing and wheezing, is likely they're afflicted by dragon rot. The more uh, rot essence wolf has, the lower the chances of receiving unseen aid. Okay, is there anything I can do about it? What's wrong? Dragon rot. The stagnation overflows and spreads a disease that leads eventually to death. What are you talking about? You don't need to worry about me. I'm... Not normal, you see. It's difficult for me to speak now. Ask Emma about the rest. Have you seen the sculptor lately? Yes. He's... All I know is what Dogen told me long ago. That the dragon's heritage can bestow the power of resurrection. However, it is not any ordinary power. Repeated use leads to stagnation which will eventually reach a point where it overflows. This causes those who do not have the power to become sick. A disease known as Dragon Rot. He knew much about it, but even so, he was unable to determine a cure. Forgive me. Is there a way to treat this Dragon Rot? I do not know. However, it must be stopped. I am unsure, but the first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. Thank you. So, then, or perhaps, huh? Hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> what is it? Sculpted. <laughs> I, I'm not no mere dragon. Sculpt. I'm no 
Okay, uh, so their dialogue changes and everything else. I think I'm gonna go check on the woman as well. Gosh darn it. So... Will they die? Oh, do I have another point? Oh, what am I doing? I have another skill point. Reflection, suppress presence. I want that one, I think. And maybe either of those. Gosh darn it, okay. Oh. I'm guessing that only a cure occurs if you do, like, if you do die-die, not, like, resurrect. Darn it. Is there anything I can do about that? I'm assuming there would would be something you can do. But now now I'm scared about like dying too often. No, oh, I didn't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. I want to talk to her. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were here. The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. A sample of his blood? Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant, but the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I, I know come one other person afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, that's not too difficult. I know I know one other person. Does that mean I should have waited? <laughs> well, we're progressing in some way, just not the way I wanted. <laughs> Sorry if you guys aren't having a fun time watching me run around uh, talking to sick people. Gosh darn it. 
Well, I think I can leave quickly enough. I just need to get up here, talk to her real quick. I'm taking a look. Okay, now let's get out of here. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. I've obtained one. A blood sample. Let me see. The coloration is very similar to the sculptor's. The color is just slightly tainted. But what's this? Hmm. Huh. Do you have enough blood? I believe so. Allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot. When we speak again, it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In fact, count on it. Goodbye. So... I rest or something? Or I leave? I don't know. She was like in a different spot last time I checked on her. I've been waiting for you. Any progress? Yes. I've found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rot? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rot, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. That is so cool. Yes. <laughs> I know it's By bad, but it's back really what cool. Has been taken. Here you are. Uh, dragon's Blood Droplet, an item that is rarely dropped by a divine error of the dragon's heritage. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon will be healed. The incessant coughing must cease. Recovery Charm. A dragon rot recovery charm created by Emma. With this charm, one can offer a dragon's blood droplet at a sculptor's idol to restore all afflicted with dragon rot back to health. The charm contains a dragon rot victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a bloodstone. Dragon rot restoration. The recovery charm allows dragon rot sufferers to be healed from a sculptor's idol. A dragon's blood droplet can be consumed to heal dragon rot from all those afflicted. Doing so will cause all rot essence to disappear, returning the chances of receiving unseen aid to default value. Um, how do I get more of those? I'm yeah, question. I still don't understand. It appears as though you're... Come and see me. I will. Goodbye. I... I'm confused. Like... Number held. I can hold... Item that is really dropped by Divine Air. The Dragon. Use it. will slightly increase the resurrective power. Restoring the power of life to those who have been drained. Of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all flick. You can have one on your person, and you can have more in storage. How do you get more? <laughs> I don't want to use it and figure out it's like an extremely rare item. I don't think I'm going to use it for now. 
Um, in between episodes, I will... Now unlocked, consuming or store health dolls, afflict with dragon rot. Okay, but are they, like, permanently helped, or what happens? I don't know how to get more. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. So, it's a consumable, which means... Yeah. It seems... Yes. Please. What is it? I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. Okay. I brought tea. <laughs> Did you now? Quite the busybody, aren't you? <laughs> I brought some tea. Mm, this tea smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father. Dogen. Are we sure he that's tea? He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. It didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. And we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all, so he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly. So Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? Oh, so much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. No matter what I do, it thus is the you'll understand, so Okay. Another I'll... So More lore. I'm glad you've come. This power, it's said to be of those who have been given repeated. Let me know. I don't think that. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get more of those, um. Dragon's Blood tears. Huh. Well, I'll try and defeat that spear guy one more time, and then I think I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Um, I think I'll do one right after this, because I feel like I haven't done very much. So, uh... Yeah, uh... Come see, like, another one after... Uh... Figured out how to upload <laughs> a lot better. Um... Anyway, um, 
if you guys would like me to like uh, do other things in the game, uh, please comment down below. Um, I'll I'll take uh, advice or just general things that you want me to do. Gaza! <laughs> Ouch, ouch. Crud. Yeah, being on fire is not really nice. me to run. <laughs> the chickens are out here. Um, do do do. So. I might try something with the spear guy. You guys might not agree with it. Um, no, I can't get it from all the way over here. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. I don't know how long he'll try to follow me. Uh, he follows quite a ways. them in combat. Can I sneak up on them now? Nope. <laughs> he he kind of frightens me. Let's see if I can get the music to stop. Okay, good. Yeah, 
if I am gonna fight him straight, I at least want my one hit on him. figure out how to actually play later on, but at the moment I'm mostly concerned with getting some progression, so uh, he heals up all the way. Okay. Okay. So... I can't just leave him alone. All right, they they thought about that. <laughs> Got me midair. Ouch. You bugger. Got some oil. Oop. can tell you, even though I'm not very good at this game, I am having a lot of fun. He doesn't seem to care very much, does he? Whoop.
apparently he was far enough away from these guys. Oh, I missed. Pellet. Get up here. Jump on this guy. Way. Oh, really? Some heat seeking missile bull. Darn it. Stop trying to follow me, bub. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can actually fight him. try to do that in the next video. Um, I think I'm going to buy the presents. Yeah, suppress presents real quick. So I'm better at stealthing.
Okay. So... Uh, I'm gonna figure out how... How I can get better and everything so I can progress and you guys can be happy. Um... I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, have a uh, have a wonderful time. Uh, after this video, I think I'm gonna release a second one. Like immediately, it'll be it'll be within like an hour or two of each other, probably. Um, yeah. Anyway, see ya. Bye.